know, I like to do this song. It's a little refrain, and I don't know I'm Jamaican, so. <laughs> and I'm kind of funny, too, you know. <laughs> well, I'm going to try it. I wish somebody saw what I
Yes, and I have to say to the youth ministry, y'all, I didn't get my running this morning, so I needed that. Yeah.
first I meet him, he's one of my Facebook followers. First day I told him personally, but he follows me on Facebook. We've got some from Maryland. Stand up over there, Maryland crew. So, House of the House of America is our 17 years anniversary. We still bang it. Come on. Yeah! to communicate with me because of my life, my spiritual life, but they never cease to stay away. They keep that social media going, and this one does that. I promise her I would bless her, and it's none other but my co-host, Alexa.
that all that you wanted was waiting for you. Did you see your book in there? When you hear her sit there with a lady who literally looked for me to bless me, was determined, one who fight for me on TikTok. I thought it was a man. I went to my son, I said, look, I got a secret admirer on TikTok. But she went and battled for me. She said, I didn't even know I could block them. She said, block them, chief. Then I learned, because I'm new on this, this platform, and they were doing me really bad. And all I didn't find out, it was this special lady. And I said, Lord, she got a great testimony. I'm hoping we'll be able to drop her in to get back. But I'm doing what I need to do. I want to bless Louise B. Amen. She's here with her mom. She's here with her sister. Because you helped me to even learn that I could block some devils. You were really fighting for me. I wish I could give you that million dollars. But you know my heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I want to present to Louise, my TikTok follower, and now my Facebook follower, and now my supporter, a seed sower who commit to sow seed once a month. She's here today with her mom and her sister. All the way from Maryland. I appreciate you. Her sister did all the driving. Now that's a sister I wish I had. God bless you, Louise. I love you. I appreciate you. You're long. You wanted this hug. So take it. <laughs> Amen. Show them your gift. Show it off. guys could just give us some reflections on the service and yes. you know how the service blessed you or might have moved you in any kind of way. Man, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank y'all for having me. Yeah. Uh, congratulations to you, Big Bill. Congratulations to everybody. Y'all lit the place on fire today. Yeah. Yeah. The best service. I haven't been in church in a while. And I'm always looking for a home church. I couldn't really find one that was more comfortable for me, but I enjoyed this service from the beginning to end. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. And uh, I met Octavia from working. You know, I was a groundskeeper at first. I was picking up trash. You understand? Uh, right. like, but I had an end goal as we was talking about today. We had to keep my focus yes, yes. on where I wanted to be. Yes. And what I wanted to be was a maintenance supervisor. Mm -hmm. I stand here today as a maintenance supervisor. Yeah. Yeah. 
I would say God do play jokes on you too. Like he, he, he got some funny ways of expressing himself, right? So I know y'all remember around Christmas time, it got real cold. Yeah. It got real cold, right? So one of my prayers was, you know, back in the day, I was like, what, God, I just want to be needy. I want people to need me. You know, I want to yeah. be able to help people. So when Christmas time comes, I want to spend time with my kids, but I'm on call for work. Man, that line was ringing because <laughs> everybody's pipes was busting, everybody, you know, power was going out, and I couldn't spend that time with my kids, and that's what I really wanted to do. So on my way to work to go help out everybody, I just started laughing, right? I said, well, I did pray for this. <laughs> so I let them hang and I said, hey, man, I went to go handle my duties, and that's it, you know. Thank y'all for having me. Is dead. It is impossible to please God without faith. Whoso, whosoever will believe in me shall have eternal life. Amen. Whosoever shall meditate on my word day and night shall have success. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me encourage you today. I pray today that each and every one of you have more grace from God. Grace. That you grow more in faith. That you have increased in faith. That you believe that you speak the word over yourself, over your life, over your children, over your husband, over your family, uh -huh. and that you see and watch and see the manifestation of God's glory Hallelujah. be revealed in your life. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. Now, I'm going to ask, I know my people are a little bit shy, so I'm going to ask Chase, I'm going to start with Chase, if you want to share with us some, at some point in time where God where you had to activate your faith or use faith in your life. Thank you all for um, this beautiful invitation and uh, the opportunity to speak here at this event. I really appreciate this. I know this is a special event for your church and celebrating 17 years. That's a really big accomplishment for any church. Amen. Um, and Never said, you know, I'm, I'm not big on speaking engagements in, in big crowds, but when God calls, you got to answer. So, Amen. 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 And, and, Amen. And, um, I, I really, I really want to uh, speak on just thanking God for opportunities and gifts that we don't even acknowledge that they really are gifts from God. Amen. And a lot of times we, we get reminded of that through life um, from people who are less fortunate than ourselves. And so just always keeping the faith um, and being able to thank him when things are going good, not just coming to him when things are bad, uh, coming to him with the laundry list of just complaints and things that are going wrong in your life. You want to always come to him um, when things are good, when he's giving you grace, when he's providing you blessings, when he's putting good people in your life, Amen. when he's giving you more family members. Um, just always remembering to keep that faith because you have to remember there are people in this world less fortunate than, than yourself, people who are in need of God, people who need an ear, people who need your heart, just people who are in need in general. We have to always be here for each other and uh, always remember to be a blessing if we want to continue receiving God's blessings. So, amen. 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 I can make it short. <laughs> amen. Talk because you know, I guess all the stuff I put on in my letters. But first, giving honor to God who's through all of the honor and glory. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Giving honor to you, my chief. Amen. Oh, yeah. Chief Apostle Reverend Dr. Arlene Williams. Amen. 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 Such an honor to my mom and my sister. Yeah. If it wasn't for them, I would not be here today, and I'm going to give you a little short testimony. But uh, after being so excited, Chief, about coming here for the last three months, we had death in our family a couple weeks ago. My mother's sister died unexpectedly. And uh, my cousin said, I'm not having the funeral on the weekend that you are supposed to go, because I know how much you're looking forward to it. But then the next Friday, <laughs> my great aunt dies. The one that I was baptized with, the 99-year-old, she died. And that's going to be a true celebration. That's going to be a little different. 
and my cousin said her funeral is going to be next Saturday because we in the family we can't have two families back to back. Mm -hmm. So we're here. Mm -hmm. We was excited, mm -hmm. and this anniversary kept me lifted yes. during the mess of grieving my aunt because every time I thought about coming here, I'm like, once we get through this, we are headed for Georgia. Mm -hmm. So we are here. But just giving a quick testimony with my mother. My mother saw me coming in and uh, saying, hey, Miss Melford, hey, Thurston, and everything over here. My mom was like, how long have you been following them? How many years? And I was like, no, actually since September. And if you want the date, only since September 21st. I was on TikTok and her video popped up. And, who TikTok a trip. And they were, they were saying stuff about blessing the house. I'm like, well, because I've been in the church all my life, ever since the baby, I grew up in church, you know, never wavered from church. Um, and we always did house blessings. The pastor come, bless your house, bless your business. So I didn't understand what they were coming from. So I was started writing my comments, you know. <laughs> Y'all got issues. <laughs> and, but then I wanted to investigate a little further on what this woman of God was about. Amen. Because uh, I'm not going to talk about anybody until I check you out. Amen. You know, you, you owe the person at least that. So um, I went on Facebook and the A homepage and all that. And once I started watching her videos, I couldn't get enough. Amen. I could not and still can't get enough. Amen. And uh, still can't get enough. I, I was following so many uh, different pastors and stuff online, and now I don't follow anybody anymore. Amen. get enough your your inspiring sermons uh, your prayers have yes. elevated my prayers yes. I couldn't tell you last month when you left a message after I told you about the baptism you said I needed to get a prayer table and I didn't want to interrupt your sabbatical and send you the picture and let you know that I do have a prayer corner now yes. Set at my prayer table. So let me give you a quick testimony, and I'll be out here in three minutes. Uh, three years ago, I got COVID when COVID first started. And, you know, everybody was dying. I got COVID, and uh, I was in a coma for 32 days. During that 32 days, I had two strokes, Tiffany. Yes. I had two strokes. Two seizures of stroke. Um, twice they asked my family to take me off of life support, to let me go. And twice they said, the only thing we're going to be celebrating is always coming home. Amen. My sister told them, we have the faith of a mustard seed. Hallelujah. 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 And uh, God brought me through it. When I woke up, Well, for 32 days later, I was paralyzed from the neck down. Uh, God, I, if I could change my name to Beyond Blessed, because I, I just I just feel God went beyond and blessed me to wake me up out of that, that coma for 32 days. And I have had to find my purpose, because I, I was grieving and grieving even after I came out of the coma, because family members were dying, and then young family members with children, and I was asking God, I don't have no children. Why, why did you save me? But I had to find my purpose. And along these three years, I have been finding my purpose. And one of my purposes, he was like, you ain't going nowhere till you see this video of Chief Apostle Arlene Williams. This woman has strengthened my relationship with God. That's one thing I have been going to church all of my life. But you know you can go to church and still be spiritually empty? Oh, yes. Wow. Yes. And this woman felt something that I have never felt before. I know now what a relationship with God is because of you. I'm learning how to pray a certain way because of you. And I just want to thank you with all my heart for this ministry. And she knows how much I love her. I tell her how much I love her. I thank you for your voicemail. Her first video, the first slide that she put out about the uh, 
the anniversary. And I had put on there, well, I'll see. I put a note in, I'll see if I could come. And on the health, how much Lord, you know, gonna heal me. <laughs> then I get a message on my phone. <laughs> this beautiful prayer, how God is gonna heal you. And you're gonna come to this anniversary. Hallelujah! I was walking with a walker. That was three months ago. I was still walking with a walker. And it came. I was not able to stand up here like I am now. I would have had to sit down. And the story just goes on and on. And I don't want to cry, but I just want to say thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you. For your ministry. And I'm not going nowhere. I'm going to still be watching from afar. I'm going to continue to plant my seeds from afar. I'm going to continue to post you on my Facebook from afar because I want everybody to know who you are. Okay? Thank you. Father, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for the blood, Lord. God, I thank you for this house that is faithful, consistent, humble, and of peace and correction. No weapon formed against this house shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I plead the blood of Jesus over every member and anybody connected to them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God. God, I ask that you protect all the guests that came from over in other states. God, I ask that you give them safe, safe delivery back home, Lord God. For Chief Apostle, give her strength like never before. Give her new eyesight, Lord God. A promotion in the spirit, Lord God. She has been faithful, Lord God. She's going from glory to glory, Lord God. And Lord, help her see whatever flags you need her to see. Amen. Nobody's going to come and touch this anointing without having their life changed. Hallelujah. And Lord, anybody that's an assignment from you, let it be revealed. And anybody that's an assignment from the enemy, let it be revealed. And cut it off right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. That you continue to bless all of us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you.